Hello everyone and welcome back to Project M Nexus. As we get started with this channel, you're going to want to have a copy of Project M on hand to keep up with all of the topics that we discuss. In this tutorial series, we'll guide you through the basic setup to get the standard version of Project M 3.6 on your Wii with the bare minimum requirements. In later videos, we'll help you set up custom builds, homebrew for PAL users, and netplay for PC users. To start playing Project M, you'll need to make sure you have a Wii or Wii U, a copy of Super Smash Bros. Brawl, an SD card 2GB or lower, and a computer that can read SD cards. For this tutorial, it's important that the size of the SD card does not exceed 2GB. However, if you stick around for the next tutorial, you'll learn how to use any sized SD card. Originally, the main Project M website hosted the official Project M download links. However, that website shut down after development ceased, so in order to download the mod, you'll need to navigate to one of the mirrors hosted by fans. You can find a reliable mirror at projectmmirrornoip.org or any of the links listed in the description. For the purpose of this tutorial, click on the link listed as Project M 3.6 Hackless. Once the download completes, find the zip file that was saved to either WinZip or WinRAR to extract the files to a folder of your choice. Now find your SD card and load it up onto your computer. If you're on Windows, open up My Computer and right-click on the SD card to select Format. This will erase any files on the SD card, so make sure to back up anything you have on the card before continuing. Change the file system when formatting it to FAT32 and click Start. After formatting is complete, drag and drop all of the files from the folder you made earlier into the root of your SD card. The transfer should take a few minutes. Once it's done, right-click the SD card and select Eject. Then you can take the SD card out of your computer. Before continuing, make sure you erase any custom stages saved on your Wii or Wii U, otherwise Project M will not load. With all of the files in place, go ahead and put your SD card into your Wii or Wii U. If you are playing on Wii U, please be mindful that you can only insert the SD card when in Wii mode, otherwise the mod might get deleted. The final step is to navigate to the Stage Builder menu inside the Vault submenu, and Project M should automatically load from there. If this is successful, the TV should display some text, flash a colored screen, and then boot up into the Project M launcher. From the launcher, all you need to do is click on play to start Project M. That's everything you'll need to know to set up the basics, but stick around and we'll cover more in depth on how to unlock the potential of homebrew, install custom builds, and set up netplay on your computer. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.